Hi, welcome to the walkthrough for Chapter 3, Add a Switch, Part 1. In this exercise, we learn how to craft and code for a switch. Let's start by loading the switch example code onto your Chibi chip. Go to ltc.chibitronics.com, click Examples, and then Love to Code Volume 1. You should see a menu item for Basic Switch. Click on Basic Switch. Here you see the basic code for interacting with a switch. Inside the loop, it reads the value of pin 5 into a variable called pressed. This if statement checks to see if the value of the variable pressed is equal to 1. This check is called the condition of the if statement. If the switch is pressed, the condition is true, and the top block of the code runs, which turns pin 0 on. Else, the condition is false, and the bottom block of the code runs, which turns pin 0 off. Remember, the code inside the loop gets run over and over, so after the chibi chip checks the value of pressed, it goes back to the top of the loop and reads the value of pin 5 again. To upload the example, press and hold the probe button until the probe light turns red, and click Upload. Remember that the volume needs to be turned all the way up! When programming is complete, the probe light will turn green. If you aren't touching any of the pins on the chibi chip, this will be the only indication that the programming is finished. Now open your Chibi book to page 3-4 to the exercise called Push Button Switch Template. First, lay down copper tape over the gray lines. If you need help turning corners, check out the walkthrough for Chapter 2, where we make corner turns neat and tidy. Be sure to smooth out any wrinkles in the copper tape, especially at the ends. Add a small piece of copper tape to the gray line on the bottom. This piece of tape forms the contact of the switch. The contact will touch across the two copper tape ends directly, above the dotted fold. Now take a pair of scissors and cut along the red lines, and fold on the dotted line. You've made a switch! Add a white LED, making sure you align the point of the LED to the point of the red outline on the page. Attach your chibi chip to the edge of the page and press down on the switch. You should see the LED light up when the switch is pressed. We're not done yet. What happens when you press on Edith's tail? Flip the page and circle the position of the light and remove the page from the book so that we can draw a scene. Starting from the light's center, we pencil sketch a quick scene. Hey, Edith is pressing on a cat's tail. Let's ink in the scene and add a bit of color to finish it off. Let's put the page back into the chibi book and check out the result. Edith's tail makes the cat spell light up. We can combine what we learned in chapter 2 with our switch example to make the cat spell blink instead of just lighting up. Turn to page 3-14 to see our modifications. Remember, the if statement has two code paths. The top code block is run only when the condition inside the if is true, which happens when the switch is pressed. The bottom code block only runs when the switch is not pressed. Once you're done making the changes, press and hold the probe button until the light turns red and upload your new code. Attach your chibi chip to the page and press Edith's tail again. Now the cat's bell blinks when the switch is pressed. That's it for part 1 of the walkthrough of chapter 3, add a switch. In part two, we'll explore fun new ways to craft switches.